And hello again, I'm Barb Ross, painter of children's art. Not art children would like, but art children would make. I believe that everybody, no, no matter how naturally artistic you are, you have the ability to paint art as bad as a child would. So let's get started. We're gonna start with a palalozogram, which is not a shape, but draw what you think that might look like. There you go, good. Now when you're choosing colors, choose colors that you don't have anywhere else in your house. Colors that when you hang this picture on your refrigerator, it will be offensive to the eye and clash with everything else. I'm gonna take another color. Don't wash off your brush. In fact, just smush it down so the bristles are not in any organized fashion. Grab another color and just blend those two together. Maybe get a third color in there so it becomes unrecognizable as an actual color you could name. Now we're gonna try to draw a line straight out of that first shape. You might be wondering, Barb, what are we drawing today? We're drawing a person. So we have our face and we have two legs coming out of that face. Now where's the torso? We don't need one. Children, for some reason, are blind to this part of the human anatomy. But they do recognize arms. So, get, a, get another color. I'm gonna go with a mustard yellow. I'm gonna mix that with a little of the blue, maybe some of the brown. Really mess up the tip of your paintbrush there and draw an arm out of the head. There. Now see, this one's a little more straight than I wanted it to be. And there. Now, as you can see here, I didn't feel I needed to connect all the paint. What would be the scariest color for eyes? Red. Never make them the same size. Now we've got our eyes. And let's really just mix these colors together for the mouth. Now the mouth usually starts up at one temple, goes across the lower part of the face and ends up at the other temple. There. Whoop, if you want it to go off the edge of the head just a little bit, you're gonna wanna add some hair, but Whoop, don't go too crazy with it. Whoop, and just streak down on either side. Now it's time for the shoes, which we can do a happy oval egg shape. And on this side, let's go smaller. Now once you're done, sign your name starting way too big knowing you're not gonna be able to finish your name without going over the rest of the art. But that's okay, your name is more important. Now don't forget to mix up capital letters and lowercase. So I'm gonna get a nice mustard yellow lowercase r there. And then somewhat of a blue b. And we'll keep that lowercase as well. that's all the time we have for today. Remember, no matter how artistic you are, I believe in you. You too can draw as bad as a child. Until next time. Roman.